It may look pretty, but it's all sugars. There's no substance. It tastes pretty, Clint. That's all that matters. Ah, the brother. Javi, meet the guys. Clint runs food production. The crops you saw, that's him and his people. Jones, our bridge to the outside world. She handles contact with other settlements. Pleased to meet you, Javi. I trust you've been treated well. I hope you haven't been handled too roughly. Some of our people left their courtesy with their old lives. <laughs> no complaints here. I get that you guys have a way of doing things. Thank you. We have to be careful. I'm sure you can understand. <laughs> we were just about to eat. Clint was trying to convince me of the essential superiority of his cream spinach over my magnificent Black Forest Gateau. It's no contest. The spinach has real nutritional value. Javi, take a look at that table. You tell me what you'd rather put in your belly. Spinach from Clint's garden or a baked delicacy by yours truly? Everything looks so good, I, I want it all. So polite, David. You sure he's your brother? Can't trust a diplomat. Always saying one thing and thinking another. Please, make yourself comfortable. We value straight talk here, so please, forgive me if I seem direct. We're usually pretty strict about who we open our doors to. Your brother's word counts for a lot. Is that so? The three of us and Dr. Lingard make all the decisions here, so, yeah. People who choose to stay with us, they have to deal with us bossing them around. Not saying you wouldn't, but it can be an adjustment. Especially for the more independent-minded. There's no structure out there now. People get used to doing as they please. People telling me what to do usually rubs me the wrong way. Most feel that way when they first arrive. Usually they learn we have their best interests at heart. And those that don't? We asked them to leave. When Joan and I met your brother, he was trying his hand at fruit. Fruit? We found him slowly murdering an orchard on the Shenandoah River. Hotty fucking ha. Huh? I helped him bring it back to life. We had a good run there. For as long as it lasted. What happened? What always happens. We trusted the wrong damn people. That's what led us to start this. Wondering what this fine piece of body art is all about? It's our litmus test for loyalty. I've seen that mark a few times. You probably saw it at the gates. Right, Javi? We all took it as a sign of commitment. It was a crude answer to a difficult problem, and it hasn't always worked. Please understand. We had a terrible winter just after we moved here. We... we lost a great deal. Loved ones who left holes in our lives. Protecting my people from that kind of pain, that's what keeps me awake at night. It turned me into a perpetual night owl. I know it's a lot to ask, but I never want them to have to experience loss like that again. I know how you feel. Seeing the people I care about suffer, it, it's a terrible feeling. I just want to shield them from it all. It's a noble aim, one worth fighting for. Max, what are you doing here? I sent for him. Since when does he answer to you? From what I hear, he's well acquainted with your brother. They exchanged a few bullets outside our walls. Is that right? Is there bad blood between you and Max? Nothing that can't be worked out. I want to hear that from Javi. Let's just say I wouldn't invite him to my wedding. Yeah, I wouldn't fucking go. Good, because I just said you wouldn't be invited. Max, how did this start? Don't look at him. You have an obligation to tell the truth. We caught him siphoning gas from one of our vehicles. Max. Sorry, David. I know he's family, but your brother's a thief. Is it true? Answer her. Did you steal gas from us? I was scavenging whatever I could find. I had no idea it belonged to you. If you just asked, we'd have given it to you. That, that's not all. Rufus said Clementine ran his truck off the road just to break him free. We had real problems with her in the past. You can always judge a man by the company he keeps. Running with that girl don't look good. 
I would say not. What's your problem with Clementine? You got a lot of hate for a teenage girl. We kicked her out for a reason. Now you two are thick as thieves. This is who you're asking us to vouch for, David? Seriously? You know we can't just open our doors to bandits. We're trying to build something different here. Something resembling civilization. Oh, for God's sakes, get off your high horse. Don't pretend like your people don't have blood on their hands. I'm not sure what you mean. We hold our people to the highest standards. Javi? You have something to say? One of your people, some asshole called Badger, he put a bullet in a little girl, my niece, David's daughter. What? Damn it, Javi, I told you I'd handle it. No, David, this cousin fucking dirtbag has the balls to accuse me. He and Badger destroyed an entire town. That's enough. No, we need to hear this. Go on, Javi. Sounds like you've got more to get off your chest. They killed a hostage in cold blood. A woman, Francine. Badger did that, not me. You were right there next to him. I tried to get him to stop, I swear. Cut off her damn finger first. Max! I tried to stop him, I swear. He was out of control. David, we warned you about getting your soldiers in line. We don't know all the facts. We know enough. She's right, David. You've lost control. I want them gone. All of them. Take Javi and everyone in the quarantine to the gate. Send them out with enough weapons to defend themselves, but no more. Look, we can't fight this. Not now. Kate and Gabe will be safe here. Your doctor friend, too. But the rest of you, you're gonna have to do what they say. I'm sorry. It's out of my hands. I can't leave Kate and Gabe alone. They won't be alone. I'll be here to take care of them. I can't help you now, but maybe I can down the road. Just stay alive. Okay? <laughs> 